thousand. I've traded millions of dollars in stocks, bonds, currencies, commodities, and you know, for me, what it does for me is it gives me a target price. 여러분도 알다시피 미국 금융시장은 2008년에 큰 위기를 맞았습니다. 주가는 반토막이 났고 1,500조 원에 달하는 금융 자산이 연기처럼 사라졌죠. 그런데도 톰 젠타이는 손해를 안 봤답니다. Stock was in 2007 before we bottomed out in March of 2009. The market was just I mean it was bleeding, it was hemorrhaging. Uh, you know, people were just, it was blood in the streets. And here comes this little number, this extension number that we use, this golden ratio, that picked this market. Uh, it, it came very, very close to picking that bottom. 황금 비율로 주가를 예측한다. 이른바 엘리엇 파동 이론입니다. 미국의 한 회계사가 75년간의 주식 흐름을 분석해서 내놓은 이론이죠. The Elliott Wave Theory was developed by a gentleman by the name of Ralph Nelson Elliott, and it's used to determine fear and greed in the stock market. Ralph Elliott 분석에 따르면은 주가는 다섯 번의 파동으로 상승과 하락을 보이고 시간이 지나면 이 전체가 하나의 파동이 됩니다. Out of the five wave sequence, I only trade the fifth wave. All right, I don't look for interpretation in waves one through four. In fact. I look at it much like a puzzle. If you were to take a thousand piece puzzle set out of the box and you spread it around, the first half of the puzzle is going to take longer to put together than the second half. And the reason why is because you don't know what the puzzle is. When you start putting it together, it starts to take meaning. It starts to take shape. Where was 파동이 구체화되면 황금 비율을 계산할 때입니다. So 85, which is the high, minus 60, which is the low, equals 25. What I do next is I say, what is 61.8 or 60, 61.8% of 25? 기준 시점에서 최고점과 최저점의 차이에 황금 비율을 곱한 것이 다음 하락이 시작될 때라는 겁니다. We're going to add that to the pullback, right? If it gets to $90.45, that is my sell point. That's how you use the golden ratio in helping to determine highs and lows in the stock market. 자 다시 해볼까요? 최근 네개 파동에서 최고점이 85, 최저점이 60이었다면 이 격차에 황금 비율만큼이 다음 최고점이고 그때 주식을 팔면 가장 높은 수익을 올릴 수가 있습니다. 물론 일반적인 요인들로도 분석합니다. 그리고 마지막에 이 방법으로 가격과 시기를 정하는 거죠. The golden ratio. I need indicators, I need systems, and I need patterns that are going to give me an edge over time. Elliott wave is a confirming pattern, and really the golden ratio is just to help me determine entry and exit points. All right, show time. Let's get this thing. Elliott 이론과 황금 비율은 그에게 성공을 가져다 주었습니다. 증권 회사를 직접 설립하고 인터넷 방송으로 주가 분석도 하는데. 이 정보를 구매하는 회원이 30만 명이나 됩니다. Hey everybody, good evening. It's Tom Gentile. Welcome to Elliott Wave. Still shows 182%. So I'm looking for that golden ratio. Where's our next golden ratio at? Well, I like that round number at 200. All right, 200 at 200, and then we're going to look at 2.618 will be the next area. So let's go ahead and start with. Tom Gentile에게는 황금 비율이 그야말로 도깨비 방맹이죠. That means that the S&P has not over the last 20 years. The company that I co-founded, Optionetics, we have over 300,000 students that have gone through our program. And not only have they learned about options, but we've been teaching them the Elliott Wave and the Golden Ratio Theory. And I think it's just something I believe in. I think Elliott is good, and I think the Golden Ratio is good. Putting them together, fantastic. I wouldn't trade without it. 자, 황금 비율이 성공을 가져다 준다? 놀랍긴 하지만 좀 어렵습니다. 좀더 쉬운 일을 한번 찾아볼까요? 전 세계의 스마트폰 시대를 연한 IT 기업은 기술뿐만이 아니라 혁신적인 디자이너로도 유명한데요. 이 회사의 로고가 황금 비율로 그려졌다는 건잘 알려진 사실입니다. 이 로고를 그린 디자이너를 만나보았습니다. 
A lot of people wonder why I took a bite out of the apple. I did that so people would know it was an apple and not another piece of fruit. Steve Jobs got e f i s a c h a p a n n g u b e k s i n y o n d i a i n u r i b a d a n e n o p s i n a n t o k t u k a n k i m y o n g t e m u n e k o m i n i m a n a s m i d a I knew that Steve didn't want it to be uh, cute. We didn't have computers then, so I couldn't be as exacting as you could on a computer. Um, we used hand tools, but um, I drew it intuitively from a natural thing. 완성된 로고는 회사 이름만큼이나 파격적이었습니다. 사람들은 황금 비율 로고가 그 성공을 도왔다고 믿기도 합니다. 그런데 제노프 씨 대답은 놀랍습니다. Got the email and and they said, "Did you design the Apple logo by using the golden ratio? Look at this." So I looked at this diagram that they had sent me, and I said, "Well, what's the golden ratio? This is amazing. I didn't know about that, and I designed the, this logo." 제노프 씨는 황금 비율이나 황금 나선을 전혀 모릅니다. 알았더라도 영감을 방해할까 봐 고려하지 않았을 거랍니다. No uh, ratio or mathematical thing was involved at all. I'm not great at math. However, it's a huge compliment to say that something I designed is so perfect that it fits this golden ratio thing. So I appreciate that people like it for that. But the truth is, I didn't design it using that. 사실 어떤 예술가가 수학이나 자를 이용해서 작품을 만드는 건 상상이 잘안 됩니다. 사람들이 황금 비율만으로 작품을 평가하지 않는 것처럼 말입니다. A lot of people are attracted to great design, and I think this is an example of great design. The uh, sculptor Anish Kapoor, um, I think, did a beautiful job with creating some public art. And even though he didn't use the golden ratio, it's still a very beautiful piece of art that people love. 완벽한 조각 작품에 신체 비례가 황금 비율인 것과 아닌 것이 있다면 사람들은 어떤 것을 선호할까요? Paris. 아테네, 미국에서 똑같은 실험을 해보았습니다. 먼저 파리의 젊은이들입니다. 비너스 원작과 같은 비례는 2번입니다. Je préfère la troisième parce que la troisième en fait elle correspond elle correspond plus à l'être humain de nos jours parce qu'elle est un peu plus petite. Et plus en chair, et je préfère aussi. Euh... <rire> c'est vrai que. J'ai la première. First. Pourquoi? First. That... Because is. Parce que c'est plus. C'est plus réaliste. Et c'est plus grand. Et c'est mieux sacré. Number three looks more American size, unfortunately. <laughs> um, number one is more what I would call Barbie sized, not quite the average person. So number two is probably appropriate, I would say, or more of a healthy look. Definition of beauty changes over different eras and over generations with the changes of mankind. I think to some degree too. 사람들마다 미의 기준은 다릅니다. 그런데 왜 위대한 걸작에는 황금 비율이 많을까요?